I have a bunch of amazing niche fragrances from niche fragrance houses that I have never tried before, which is hard to, to even believe <laughs> given how many fragrances I have about over 400 fragrances, but there are still houses, amazing niche houses out there I am yet to explore. So I have the goodies for you. I like to test fragrances sometimes and then decide which ones are worth a full bottle. Are they full bottle worthy? Sometimes I just blind buy, but you know what? Blind buying is not advisable. So it's really good sometimes to be able to test fragrances when you have the chance to get your hands on samples first. So let's find out if these fragrance houses that I've never explored before, are they worth it? Hi my lovely people, welcome back to another fabulous fragrance video. In this video, I am going to test a bunch of fragrance houses that are new to me. They're niche fragrance houses that I have never bought a you know, fragrance from before. I'm going to sniff some fragrances from these fragrance houses and decide if they're really worth it and if these fragrances are fragrances that I want in my collection. And I have to thank my beautiful, wonderful subby, Margot, for sending me some of these samples. She sent majority of these samples to me and I am so thankful to her. That was so, so very sweet of her. I didn't even ask and she sent me some amazing samples. And you know, I gotta tell you, some of them really blew me away. I have some from uh, my lovely Subby and I also have some that Fragrance Houses sent me or I bought or I just came into them because sometimes they give away samples with purchase of other fragrances. If, if it's like a department store you're buying from, you sometimes get, you know, niche fragrance samples that, you know, from houses that you haven't tried before so it's like a mix of samples here so let's jump right in because I have quite a few to go through so the first fragrance house I'm quite curious to try it's one of the ones that my lovely subby sent me she sent several samples of several fragrances from this house I was not familiar with it before and I'm very curious about it now this is Mesa Parfum and I have here several of it and the first one I'm going to try is Oud Sakura. This one actually is very intriguing. It has a, a, a the juice has a pink hue to it. I'm going to use these cards that I have because I ran out of blotter cards, you guys. I need to order some more. So let's spray this one. Mmm. Ooh, this one's really, really lovely. Mmm. I can right away, I can pick up a very subtle, beautiful, sort of cherry, cherry blossomy scent to this. I mean, I'm also assuming since it's Sakura, that involves cherry blossom somehow, or cherry. Yeah, I can smell the oud, but the oud is not barnyardy at all. It is a very kind of clean oud. It almost smells like an crisp organic oud like the Fregance du Bois kind of oud. Mm, I can smell something like vanilla in the in the dry down. Kind of like vanilla or tonka bean or something. I have not even looked up notes of this fragrance you guys. I don't even think this brand is on Fragrantica. This almost has like a zesty opening. I want to almost say like a little zing of ginger. Anyway, this definitely, what I smell the most are those cherry, cherry blossom type of light cherry note in here. And that zing of ginger and some citrus in the opening right away. And then that cherry blossom, cherry kind of light cherry sort of note. You know, kind of like the cherry note that's in Tom Ford Electric Cherry, which is like very light and juicy and kind of bursting, kind of almost like cherry blossomy that kind of cherry note in here or cherry blossom 
and yes you can smell the oud a little bit but it is not that noticeable at all um and and the oud is very kind of clean not a barnyard type of oud whatsoever beautiful scent i wonder how it performs because it, it's it's sort of starting to disappear on the blotter card but also remember this is just a blotter card this is not skin this is not clothes so perfume act differently on clothes and on skin than they do on paper so never ever ever judge a perfume by just spraying it on blotter card what I'm going to do is, I just don't have enough spots on my skin to spray everything on. So I'm going to finalize like three fragrances that I will buy full bottles of. And then those three I will sp spray on my skin and clothes and test it that way. So the next one I have from Mesa is uh, uh, Dionge, uh, Destin Dionge. So this one is a lighter yellowy kind of juice. Let me gra grab another card here and I will spray it on this one. Oh my goodness. Ooh, you guys, this is so interesting. I can smell chocolate, okay? I got a good dose of, this is a very sweet gourmet. I got a nice whiff of chocolate with some citrus. There's like some syrupy citrus in here, like maybe orange. Something gourmet. It's like very sweet, like an intense vanilla. I'm gonna say there's tonka bean in here. Something else gourmet. It could be like toffee or caramel or something. But I could smell chocolate in the opening. That's weird because usually those kinds of notes are in the base. Yeah, my God, it smells so good when I first sprayed it. And yeah, definitely this has like either vanilla, uh, like a concentrated vanilla like tonka bean or both. This one is a winner. So, ah, I actually forgot. So the first one I really like too. So I'm going to start putting like, so I'm first going to divide them to like and don't like piles. Okay, so these both go in the like pile, but the second one I like a little bit more. Actually, maybe quite a bit more than the first one. I, they're both super beautiful. Actually, I have another Mesa Perfect fragrance here. It's a Jauhara. It's called, um, let me spray this on this one. Ooh, this one is very like light, fresh, almost orange blossomy scent but i smell citruses and i definitely smell patchouli maybe some sweet notes like vanilla yeah, i smell orange blossom distinctly it's very very clear orange blossom citrus very clear there's citrus hint of patchouli but in a very nice way not like dirty or too earthy so you guys uh, just confirmed it yeah it has bergamot and lemon i think for citrus it has like loads of orange blossom with patchouli and it has amber and vanilla. So yeah, this one was an easy one. Yeah, this is really nice. Um, it's it, it's not like mind-blowingly nice. So I'm going to put this one in the maybe pile. So actually, I'm going to have three piles. So yes, no, and maybe, okay? Also, Mesa Parfum. This one is vanilla. So I'm going to assume this has vanilla, okay? So let's spray this one on. Hmm rose sweetness super sweetness rose the opening of this almost reminds me of mancera roses vanille so like super sugary rose with citrus is what i'm smelling then i smell like candy like sweetness again um some musk i think that's all i can pick up you guys well guess what yes I just looked up the notes. It has rose and sugar right in the opening and some kind of citrus. I think it was when, uh, no lemon when I looked it up. Yeah. And it has some sort of like weird candy kind of note, like locum or something. It's like some kind of candy note. And yes, there's loads of musk. And then there, yes, there's vanilla. I looked up there. Yeah, there's vanilla and woody notes. But this one, you guys, right in the opening, it smells a lot like Mancera Rosa Svenny. Exactly, because Mancera Rosa Svenny also has that sugary, sweet rose, you know? 
So yeah, this one, I, I really like it, but I have the Mancera Roses Vanille, like that kind of scent profile. So I'm going to put that in the maybe pile. And one last one from Mesa Parfum. This is Jardin de Set. Um, let me try this one and see. It's very light kind of juice. It looks like, dude, this one is like very citrusy, fruity, sweet super sweet like vanilla too in here that's all can all i can pick up there's definitely some nice citruses in here yeah you guys this has mandarin orange or orange and lemon a bunch of citruses it has like raspberry it has caramel patchouli which is what i think i was smelling sweet vanilla uh amber and musk i think yeah this one's really very interesting and it's kind of beautiful but it's not like the type of fragrance that I gravitate towards, but it's still beautiful. So I'm going to put it in the maybe pile. So the next fragrance house that I'm so excited to try that I've heard so much about is Liquid Imagineer. So this one is um, the first one I have, this Bloody Wood. It um, sounds interesting. Let me grab a card and I will. And the juice is kind of like a pinky rose hue. Uh, let me try. this one you guys has the most interesting note in here it's kind of boozy this one's boozy I can smell rose I think I smell some kind of powdery floral either you know like iris or something violet or something I smell fruity notes it's very fruity Super fruity. I mean, it's super woody too, by the way. I mean, I can understand why it's called um, bloody wood now. It's kind of like red wood, kind of. So they certainly accomplished what the name suggests. Yeah, there's something boozy. There's something very fruity, some fruity notes, almost like raspberry kind of fruity notes bursting. There's more fruity notes in here that I can't quite pick up. But there's definitely rose and there's a boozy note. So let me find out what it actually has. I just looked up the notes. Um, so it has red wine or wine in it. That's the, that's the note I was smelling. I'm going to assume it's like a synthetic note. Um, and yes, I was right. It has rose and the blue purple note I was smelling was, is violet. And the fruit, fruity notes are raspberry, I was right cherry and bunch of other fruity notes and it has like cedar wood oak and a bunch of other woody notes oh this is very very interesting i would say this one is very kind of unisex fragrance it can go either way um it's actually very beautiful uh and very interesting with that wine note like that's why like it's like red wine i'm getting images of red wine in my head now that i know that it's red wine that's the boozy note so yeah, it was a, I, I knew it was a very different kind of boozy note because it didn't smell like rum or cognac or any of those kinds of boozy notes, you know, like it, it was different and I just couldn't put my finger on it. I almost thought at one point, is this champagne? You know, I just, but then it was a little deeper than that. So that makes sense. So the next fragrance from the same fragrance house is Zom Rosa. So this one is obviously a rose fragrance, I'm going to assume. Let me like. Mmm, you guys, this one, mmm, very fizzy. This is very effervescent, very light, fresh rose fragrance. There's something very effervescent in the opening that's kind of boozy too. Is it champagne? Champ Do I smell the champagne? I smell the rose. There's some kind of very, sh kind of sharp, not sharp, um, kind of cutting kind of uh, citrus note in here. I don't know which one it is, but I'm gonna say it's more of a like lemon kind of citrus. Not, not like the syrupy ones like mandarin orange. This has got some kind of rose. I wanna say, I don't know, like n not Bulgarian. Some kind of rose, not Turkish either. Not Thai rose, something else. This has something really resinous and sharp in here too. Not just the citrus note, but there's something resinous sh and sharp and there's some kind of spice in here that's sharp. Yeah, I don't know, I have to look up the notes. 
um, some woody notes, some earthiness. Yeah, I don't know. So let me let me check, guys. I was right. There's champagne in the opening. I mean, it was very very obvious. It was very fizzy, very effervescent, very bubbly, very uh, you know, and it was had a like a boozy quality to it. And this has the citrus was isn't lemon. It's called pomelo. It's a type of citrus. Um, it's a very specific kind of sharp citrus. And this has some pear in it. And the rose in here is damask rose. I thought it was May rose. And yes, I was right. The spice in here is clove. I knew there was a sharp spice. I couldn't quite put my finger on it. And the resin vibe. The balsamic, balsamic resin vibe I was getting is from olibanum. Makes sense. And this has like strong woody notes like cedar, gaik wood, which is not my favorite wood. It tends to be a little too sharp for me. There's a little bit of vetiver too. So yeah, so this one is interesting. I thought this would be like such a like a pretty you know rose fragrance it, it's super interesting and i can see why this would be so appealing to so many people but it's not my personal favorite because that's not the exact kind of rose that i gravitate towards um so i'm gonna put that in my no pile for now so the next one from Liki imaginaire is desert suave so Let's see what this one's all about. Um, Liquids. Mm. Mm. This is giving me a bit of a masculine vibe a little bit. This is more of a masculine leaning fragrance, I want to say. Well, to my nose anyway. I mean, it's unisex and it can go either way. To my nose, this smells a little bit more masculine. This one is really hard to pick up notes you guys this one's hard I feel like I can smell some florals I smell a spice note or two probably cardamom some florals like some maybe like white florals some maybe some rose some woodiness but it, this one's really hard to tell so let me look and tell you what what it has so you guys this has dates which is probably why it's called Desert Suave. It has sesame seeds. It has like uh, orange blossom, rose sauce right there, cardamom, yes, th this has cardamom. I knew there was a spice like cardamom in here. And some mandarin orange and some, some cedar, I think. So yeah, yeah, I, I'm going to say that this one is a little bit on the masculine side to my nose so I'm going to put that in the no pile for now so, so let's try more from the house of oud I do have a deluxe sample of keep glazed so this house is not exactly new to me I have like technically one tiny decant of one of their fragrances but this is very much like the first time that I'm smelling this fragrance house so let's try Dates Delight. This one has me salivating. My mouth is watering. So let me try this. I remember spraying this when it first arrived and loving. Ooh. Ooh, this one's good. Mmm. I can smell the dates for sure. There's definitely dates, right? Probably in the opening because I can smell the dates right away. As many of House of the House of Wood fragrances, this is super sweet. I wouldn't say super sweet. It's sweet. It's it's sweet. I can smell like a heavy dose of vanilla with a lot of sweetness, like almost like sugary sweetness. This smells really good, you guys. This has some spice. I want to say like cinnamony kind of warm spice. This has some other sweet gourmet notes, like super sweet ones, like toffee or caramel or something which they tend to put in their fragrances a lot. It's something very like, like you know, like almost like um, thick or, or sticky. So let me find out what this has. I was right, this has dates. I mean, I assumed it says dates delights, okay? There's tonka bean apparently here, large amounts of tonka bean, which explains like the vanilla -y vibes. 
it apparently has a caramel which I knew there was like thick thick kind of sweet almost like gourmet it has honey makes sense it felt a little sticky it's like sort of like syrupy thick you know and um, of course vanilla and it has labdanum too did I say honey yeah um, and I feel like it also has a slight hint of some kind of oriental incense not frankincense uh, not uh, myrrh but like a like a lighter almost like a like a Middle Eastern um, oriental almost like a floral incense in here so yeah this is definitely a yes it's very interesting to say the least I mean it's quite a an interesting dates fragrance so I'm gonna put dates delight in the yes pile okay so I have another house of oud sample this is not from my sabi this is one that I've had this one I want to try too I don't think I really took time to test this fragrance this is the house of oud what about pop so let's try this one Ooh, ooh, nutty there's there's nuts in here Mmm, sort of nutty, nutty, nutty fragrance. I smell something creamy and very gourmet. Again, those thick gourmet notes they put in their fragrances. I'm gonna say there's caramel in here too. They tend to put caramel in a lot of their fragrances, you guys. I mean, this house is all about like putting really thick, heavy gourmet notes in fragrances like caramel, you know, like honey, that sort of thing. What is that nutty kind of smell? I'm I'm smelling right in the opening. Is it not? It's not really nutty either. It's like a kind, of, kind of a specific note, you guys. Can't put my finger on it. There's something creamy in here too. There's definitely vanilla. I feel like there's a heavy thick gourmand like caramel in here somewhere. Obviously some florals, probably white florals. I don't know, that's all about I can pick up. Let me look at the notes. Oh my god, you guys, there is popcorn. At first, when I first sprayed it, it smelled like a very different kind of nutty note. But then when I kept smelling it, I'm like, no, that's not nutty. That's a gourmet note of some sort of a kind of salty, save, like almost savory kind of gourmet note. And it occurred to me it smelled like popcorn. And yes, this has caramel. I told you, this has caramel. There's different kinds of florals like hawthorn this has whipped cream which is where that creaminess came from which is kind of odd in this mix with like popcorn and whipped cream you know it's definitely different <laughs> it's it's a it's a it's it's a gourmet that's different this has benzoin musk i think i saw ebony too like the woody note very weird fragrance you guys yeah this one's a no for me like a solid no that popcorn note in the opening not good whereas you know like what do you call it pure excess by Paco Rabanne now that popcorn note I like not not this one this one's weird next I have from the house of oud golden powder so I'm going to assume this is gonna smell a bit powdery okay so let's spray this Ooh, went in my eye Ooh, ooh, yummy, Arr. this one's good. Mmm, yum, 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 yum. What smells so delicious in here? Huge amount of vanilla. This is definitely a vanilla -y fragrance. A slight warmth from the, the, like the warm spices, I'm sure. In here, some like woody notes, like sandalwood type of sensual woody notes. I'm not sure what else is there. Definitely a massive dose of vanilla. Yeah, that's all I can pick up. So let me check the notes. So you guys, yes, this has cinnamon and nutmeg, the warm spices that I was smelling. Yes, huge doses of vanilla. There's vanilla and tonka bean in here. And there are woody notes like uh, cedar and papyrus. I was right. Papyrus has a woody scent, like nuance too. It has like tobacco blossom, labdanum, and some musk. There is something powdery about it, but it's not revealed in the um, notes, but I'm gonna assume this has like some kind of like orris kind of powdery note in here, which is why it's powdery. It's, but it's not too, too powdery. If, if, if anything, it's 
very vanilla-y and woody. It kind of reminds me of a stronger, more, you know, like sweet version of the Bouquet Ideal by Zerjoff. So yeah, it's a yes for me. So she sent me a Navitus Parfum sample. I've been wanting to explore this house for a very, very long time, you guys, and I finally get to explore it. This one is, I wanted to just smell a few from this house. So she sent me Raised Spirit. This is the collaboration with Steve here on YouTube. Navitus collab with Steve. Um, congratulations, Steve. So let me try this one. Um, I'm gonna assume this is a boozy one by the by the name so mmm mmm ooh this one is a very pleasantly beautiful boozy fragrance you guys I like really love it ooh this is a very delicious gourmet boozy fragrance there are some delicious gourmet notes in here I can smell there's loads of vanilla or tonka bean in here. I can definitely smell that. And I can smell loads of other gourmet. I want to say like, you know, deeper gourmet notes like, um, not chocolates, uh, caramel or something sweet. I can't qu quite put my finger on it. Um, there's definitely loads of vanilla. Did I say that? I can smell the vanilla or, or tonka bean or both. And this definitely has a beautiful boozy note or two. I want to say it's like rum or cognac, but probably like rum, more like. This very delicious, like a boozy fragrance mixed with really delicious gourmet um, notes. So let me find out the notes. So you guys, this is so delicious. I actually, when I looked it up, I fell in love with it even more. This has like really cool notes like salted butter fudge. Um, it has caramel, I was right. It has uh, pimento leaves, which, you know, I know pimento and what that smells like. The pimento leaves, I'm going to assume, smell a little green, but I, I'm not picking up that kind of that much of a green opening at all in here. This does have rum. It's a dark rum, which makes sense with this gourmet notes in here. It has like brown sugar, so that sweetness comes from the brown sugar. It just makes you know sense like I think it's brown sugar syrup this has cashmere wood French oak and apparently it's a little bit of tobacco which I didn't pick up that much at all because I'm not a huge fan of tobacco but I love the way it's blended in this fragrance the tobacco you can I mean I'm sure it adds like depth and layers but it you can like pick up a strong tobacco note which I really like and yes loads of Madagascar vanilla this is, yeah, this is a yes. So next house is Milano Fragrance. I'm not at all familiar with this house. The fragrance name is Panaton. So let's try. Ooh. 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 Right away, not a fan. Ooh, this is a blast of citrus that's just punched me in the face. Ooh. Oh wow, and um, it's mixed with gourmet notes, but it's like super like citrusy. Mmm, and I smell booze. There's too much going on in here all at once. I want to say something balsamic too. This is a very aromatic fragrance and not in a good way. Um, loads of citruses. Let me look up the notes. You guys, this one has bitter orange and mandarin orange. Like I said, loads of citruses. And this has like carrot seeds and ginger. Apparently there's Davana in here, which I'm usually a huge fan of. It's a very sexy, sultry, herbally note, which is probably why this is actually kind of nice. Like that sort of that sultriness that, that's in here. There's those citruses and that other weird notes kind of I think like take away the sexiness. Pennatone is not really my my cup of tea, so that's going in the no pile. So now I have a new fragrance house that I really want to test here. This is one thing that I've been really dying to test. This is Tamin London, this house. Um, so I have Royal Sapphire and Blue Heart from Tamin. So let me try Royal Sapphire first. 
Um, so this is what the sample looks like. I mean, I can't remember where I got these from. I think one I got from Twisted Lily, the other one I got in a like a goodie bag when I purchased something. Let me try this one right here. Ooh, ooh, this one. This one is very unisex. I would say leaning masculine, but it's a gorgeous scent. I would love to smell this on my husband. And it's hard for me to pick out the knit. There's something soapy about this fragrance. There's loads of, I'm smelling florals, but there's something that's super soapy in here that's making the, the smell more masculine, but actually a woman can wear this too. No, no, actually this is really soft and it can really go female too. So it's like a very unisex. It can be like a man's fresh fragrance or a woman's very soapy fragrance, you know? There's something very soapy about it. So I looked up the note, it has a nice citrus opening. It has like orange blossom and jasmine. Those are the nice, beautiful florals I was smelling. I knew they were probably white florals. And this has... Uh, Amber, patchouli, moss, woody notes in the base, which is probably I was where I was getting a bit of a masculine vibe from the woody notes in here. But there's something very fresh, like almost air freshener-like about this fragrance. But it's very like, it could be very pretty and fresh powdery scent on women. I don't know. So this one is, you guys, I, I don't know about this one. So I'm going to say this one is a maybe. So I'm going to put it in the maybe pile. I, this is the one I really wanted to try. Blue Heart by Tamin. So let me spread this one really quickly. Ooh. This also has that same sort of unisex vibe with the freshness. This is a very like earthy freshness this fragrance has with like a powderiness you guys it's very kind of aromatic like most men's fragrance to, fragrances tend to be I think I would like to smell this on my husband more so I looked up the notes so this has saffron which tends to lean kind of masculine smelling this has coconut which I didn't pick up at all it has orris and a bunch of powdery notes so that powderiness is real this has tonka bean and vanilla so there's a look vanilla vibe and this one has a uh, cypro oil the nagarmotha which is why I think I was kind of attracted to this fragrance you know although I want to smell it on my husband I think more this has like musk and ambergris too I mean not ambergris amber so yeah I would say because it's like giving me like masculine vibes a little bit this is also going to be like a maybe for me next I have I think this is a brand new fragrance house I don't think this has been around for that long so this is called Will Germain uh, fragrance house and the first fragrance I have from them is passion victim which which sounds strange doesn't it like I think I heard that this this founder of this brand always like found himself being very passionate and you know like becomes a victim to his passion you know so I think that's why that's kind of weird name so let me spray this passion victim it's interesting mm. Ooh, interesting again I'm getting masculine vibes but I smell loads of amber I smell a lot of amber and I smell some rose but it still smells like kind of masculine to me citrus is obviously there in the opening there's something like balsamic or resin in it I'm gonna say olibanum like this smells like the olibanum in the other one. Oh my god I was right right you guys it is something that leans masculine because this has cypress in the opening which is kind of like that conifer kind of vibes that you know you get in men's fragrances this has like I assumed citruses. It has Spanish labdanum and olibanum. So yes, that scent I was getting that olibanum -y balsamic vibe. Yeah, it's it's because of that. It does have rose and jasmine, I remember. And it has loads of amber, I was right, and, and vanilla, I think it was, and sandalwood, I think. Yeah, not, mm, not for me. Inconfessible. Interesting names, interesting names. I have to say, interesting names. So I'm gonna just use the the, the carton that it came in, in. Ooh, this one's very fresh, spicy, spicy and warm, spicy, spice, spice, spice bomb, men's fragrance. Yes, 
Yeah, I smell loads of woody notes, very aromatic. So yes, I was right. I looked up the notes. It has like, like I think pepper, 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 um, ginger, like uh, coriander, nutmeg kind of spices and cardamom, I think. Loads of woody notes and patchouli. Definitely not my cup of tea. Very, very masculine, almost like spice bomb, you know? Very masculine. Um, the next one I have is More is More from Will Germain. Um, let me try this one. Now, if you ask me, since these are masculine, which one would I like to smell on men more? Um, is it the Passion Victim or um, Passion Victim or Inconfessible? I would say Inconfessible. I like the spicy sort of fragrances on men, um, like spice bomb kind of fragrances. Yeah, this one is what is it? More is more. So let me spray this on its carton. This one isn't so masculine. I smell something like almost herbal in here. Some florals that are kind of feminine. It's actually kind of probably unisex, but this one leans more feminine for a change in the brand so far what I've tried. I smell like some rose, I think. I think some sort of like light floral I can't put my finger on. Something herbally like either Nargamotha or Davana type thing which is kind of nice and sexy. Okay, you guys, this one has Davana. I was right. This has Osmanthus and it has Clary Sage, which kind of leans masculine. This has Rose and I think it was Mimosa, wasn't it? Yeah, and it has Leather, which is kind of sexy with the Nagamota, very sexy. And it has Patchouli, Emberet, and I think Vetiver. This one is better than the other two in terms of it not leaning too masculine. But still, it's not my favorite, so definitely no. So, Wildermain isn't faring so well thus far. Okay, next one is Radianza by Wildermain. Um, let me try this one. Radianza. <clears throat> oh, this one is a white floral one. This one I like. Oh, it's nice. Kind of slightly green and white florally citrusy fragrance almost like a light jasmine tuberose kind of scent i can smell jasmine and tuberose for sure there's some sort of like citrus note in here and some sort of green note in here there's some vanilla i can tell okay you guys i knew this has a, had a very special citrus it is actually clementines in here and the green was from violet leaves and the um there's black currant blossoms in here too which i thought was interesting jasmine there's tuberose i was right but it wasn't neroli the other one it was honeysuckle this has yes vanilla benzoin and love this one i like you guys i'm gonna put this one on the maybe pile so this is radianza this one is more feminine so that's it you guys i have many more fragrance houses from which i have samples but i can fit so many into one video without it being a mile long so this these are the only houses that i'm going to try in this video a huge thank you to my lovely subscriber margo for sending these samples to me so i can explore these fragrance houses i would like to explore more fragrance houses in another testing fragrances video in these testing videos i like to you know sniff fragrances initially and kind of guess the notes and then tell you what it feels like and then actually look up the notes and tell you what it's all about so i hope that worked out for you let me know down in the comment section do you have fragrances from these fragrance houses because i don't so let me know your thoughts down in the comment section i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already Ring the notification bell next to it for all notifications so you will never miss any of my videos. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok for fabulous, short, digestible content. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, loves.